same poor wireless connection. We all experience poor Wi-Fi day and night and never found a good solution. This has been my problem for the last 10 years and probably yours too. Hi, I'm David and I want to introduce you to Zeus Pro, the world's first non-electric Wi-Fi amplifier. With Zeus Pro, you can easily double and even triple your Wi-Fi range and also maximize your Wi-Fi quality just by mounting it on your router antenna. Zeus Pro focuses the Wi-Fi frequency to 180 degrees instead of 360 degrees. Most Wi-Fi routers nowadays have two or even more antennas. So when installing Zeus Pro, you still can get 360 degrees Wi-Fi connection, but now with three times the range. And that's not all. It could be your old neighbor surfing on your Wi-Fi. Get the hell out of my Wi-Fi! Five minutes! But it can be an unwanted guest. Wi-Fi is highly and easily hackable. By turning Zeus Pro and aim it to your private area, you can secure your wireless network from unwanted guests. Zeus Pro also increases your Wi-Fi connection speed by reducing interferences that block the Wi-Fi signal. And for the gamers between us, it reduces lags and disconnections. Eight years ago, we decided to explore the creation of a next generation razor blade. The last major change to razor blades was over a half century ago when stainless steel replaced carbon steel. Since then, it's mainly been adding yet another blade to the razor every decade or so. Two billion blades go into landfills every year, so our goal was to create something that was much sharper than steel, but more importantly, lasted much, much longer. This is Zafiro the world's first sapphire blade razor. We've developed pure white sapphire blades with an edge about 80 atoms at the tip, or roughly 5,000 times thinner than the width of a human hair. Sapphire is also much harder than steel, which means the blades last much longer, currently up to a year, with the potential to last several times that long. We're huge fans of design, so it was really important to us not to build the kind of cheap neon or fake chrome handles you see in most bathrooms today. Ideally, we wanted to build something that might be passed down through generations, like a well-made watch. The project got off to a very rough start. We spent more than a year and a half going in entirely the wrong direction, trying to make blades out of an advanced ceramic called zirconia, which amongst other things has been used in very expensive sushi knives. Unfortunately for us, and for my face as a tester, you can't get zirconia sharp enough to make a great razor blade. We went back to the drawing board, and after a couple of months talking to experts around the world, decided to try sapphire. Sapphire is in many ways the perfect material for razor blades, because it can be made exceptionally sharp, and it's second only to diamond in terms of hardness, so blades stay sharp. The downside is that sapphire is very expensive. It took us nearly another three years to create the first Zafiro razor, and we couldn't find a way to make one affordably. So we decided to embrace the high cost and launch with the most impressive handle we could build, including one version made out of iridium and another made out of gold. Zafiro's launch generated an incredible amount of press, and it was fun to get that kind of exposure for the product, but we knew no matter how much exposure we got, we couldn't have a meaningful impact on the industry until we could get our cost down. That's been our sole focus at Zafiro since launch. 
Sapphire is used as a component in high-tech products like advanced solar panels, LEDs, and the iPhone 6 has helped drive prices down. We've also found new suppliers and worked with existing suppliers to optimize the manufacturing process. Four years later, we finally have a path, but we need your help to walk it. Even with the cost improvements, we need high volumes to make this work. Ideally, manufacturing runs in the tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of blades. We need your help to do that. Your support can help us change an industry and allow you to be one of the first people in the world to shave with a beautifully designed sapphire blade razor. I'm Aubrey Anderson, founder and CEO at Monome, makers of Runcible. I'm happy to announce the public pre-release of our first model. Runcible is a new category of mobile device. It's palm-sized, modeled on the pocket watch, and echoes iconic forms that humans have carried with them and had strong emotional relationships with for ages. A lot of people ask me if Runcible is a phone. Runcible is really like a highly connected, very small tablet computer. It's phone-like, but you don't hold it up to your head. You can pair with a Bluetooth device and make phone calls with Runcible if you really want to. But Runcible is made specifically to avoid pulling you out of the real world, especially if you're there enjoying it. In the smartphone industry today, they call sustainability a best effort proposition. That generally means they aren't working on it. With Runcible, we are pursuing sustainability and supply chain transparency in every possible category. We're not just designing them in California. We are building them in California. For the wood backs, we're sourcing local, verifiably sustainable wood from Mendocino. We call Runcible an heirloom electronic. It can be repaired, modified by you, and upgraded both at the hardware and software levels. An old watch can be repaired even if the manufacturer no longer exists, because the way watches work is well understood, and generally understood in common. Open source is as close to that concept as we have in the software world. Source code that is freely available and lives independently from this company or any other ensures that you can always comprehend what the device is doing, and you can change it if you don't like it, even if we are no longer in the picture. Creating a device you can keep for a long time, fix and upgrade, is a radical change from how the smartphone industry works today. A small independent company in Berkeley can't hope to encourage change in an entrenched global industry all by itself. But with your help and support, we actually can. We feel like putting Runcible in your hands sooner than later and letting you bring them to dinner or to the beach or wherever you'll take them, that's going to tell us things that no amount of venture-funded focus group testing could ever do. And really, we don't want to tell you what you're supposed to do with Runcible. We want you to tell us. I hope you really connect with Runcible, and I hope you love it as much as we do. Lily used to climb the highest mountains in search of the freshest air. With wind, she doesn't have to anymore. Wind is the world's first personal air quality system that generates fresh and clean air, that's portable, and is simple to use. Its built-in sensor monitors the air quality around Lily and adjusts its power to filter more, or less. Wind helps Lily keep the air around her clean and fresh, even when she's traveling. Wind works by creating a bubble of healthy air around it. Dirty air is drawn in by vents, pulled through a medical-grade air filter, and clean air is propelled out of the top. Wind can filter things like allergens, dust, pet dander, smoke, pretty much anything. Except that. Lily can adjust the amount of clean air wind releases by simply twisting. The Wind app allows Lily to check the quality of the air around her, gain insight about the air she's filtered, and check the air quality of her friends and family. Wind knows when Lily's filter is used up and can automatically ship a replacement filter to her home. And the air quality tracker can even detach to keep Lily aware of the air she's breathing while she's on the go. Wind blends seamlessly into Lily's life, allowing her to breathe easy no matter where life takes her. What we breathe matters. We all have experiences or know of loved ones who have been affected by poor air quality, whether that's from allergens, germs, smoke, or industrial pollution. 
I founded Wind because I've watched for too many years as my relatives in Beijing suffered from poor air quality. But the air problem goes way beyond China. And we want to enable everyone, no matter where they live or where life takes them, to enjoy a healthy air environment. Wind is designed not just to clean the air, but also understand the environment so that it can proactively take care of any problems and to do both wherever the user goes. For the past 18 months, we've been working hard with an amazing team of engineers, scientists, and designers to bring wind to life. Today, we're proud to come to you to get your support so that we can launch the product, spread the word, and grow the community. Thank you. A couple years ago, we set out to build a family of affordable yet high quality smart weather stations. And we've done it. Our weather stations are simple to install, require almost no maintenance, and automatically connect with your smartphone, your smart home, and the internet. They're better than other stations sold at twice or three times the price. Finally, you can have useful weather information from your own backyard. This is air. Air measures temperature, atmospheric pressure, and relative humidity. And air does something else special. It detects lightning. It'll not only alert you when lightning strikes, but it'll estimate the strength and distance of the storm up to 25 miles away. And it'll tell you how fast the storm is approaching. Just set it outside in the shade. Air has a battery that'll last years, and it connects wirelessly to your smartphone, tablet, or home network. You don't have to think about it. When there's something you need to know, it'll alert you. You can also view your data anytime through our Smart Weather app, as well as other popular weather apps like Weather Underground. And this is Sky. Sky measures sunlight, solar radiation, including UV index. It also does two really cool things. It measures rain and wind with no moving parts. Unlike old school tipping buckets that can break or fill with things other than rain, Sky senses each individual raindrop using an innovative haptic rain sensor. It can alert you the instant it starts to rain, tell you how hard it's raining, and how much it rained yesterday or last week. Sky also measures wind speed and direction using an array of sonic transducers. This sonic anemometer is better in many ways than traditional spinning cups, and usually only available in much more expensive systems. Like air, Sky comes with a long life battery and is completely wireless. Also like air, sky is simple to install. Just find a spot with a clear view of the sky. Both sky and air work with all the popular smart home platforms. So you can do all those nifty smart home things, like reminding you to put on sunscreen when the UV index is high, delaying your sprinklers when it rains, optimizing your air conditioning system to save money, turning on your lights when the sun goes down, or closing your garage door when the wind kicks up. If you've made it this far, congratulations. You're a certified weather geek, just like all of us at Weatherflow. We're on Indiegogo now because we want you to be the first to get your hands on one of our new weather stations, and because we need your feedback. As we finalize production details on the hardware and in the app, there's still time to make changes. Ask us questions. What did we do right? What could be better? Please take a look at our perks. Share this page with your friends, weather geek or otherwise. We want these to be the best home weather stations in the world because we want you to have better weather data. Please help us do that. Thank you.